Two looks at, a, at an off-speed curveball and change. He also has the slider. Of college baseball. Pounds one on the dirt, down the line, and in the left field for a base hit. Morgan racing to third. He's going to get waved. The throw comes late. He'll touch home easily into second with an RBI double is Dylan Cruz. That ball is rocked into the gap in right center field. Going to be trouble. Oh, a great catch by the right fielder, Williams. Tagging up on the play is Cruz. But what a job to rob Dugas of extra bases. Hammers this one to right field. Back, way back, and gone. Tyler Miller smacks a home run to right field, and Auburn is on the board. And the SEC's RBI leader now has 53 driven in. That was 13th a missile. homer of the year. That was a missile from Tyler Miller. That's how quick this ball gets out of the ballpark. He's a transfer, top 10 transfers in the country. Butch Thompson's glad to have 2 2 pitch. That ball is blasted high and deep to right center field and long gone. 34th career home run for Williams. And just like that, Auburn has tied it up. We told you A.J. Labus was a strike thrower. These little bit too many strikes in the first inning. First Tyler Miller with the home run. And Stephen Williams, who hit the home run in the sixth inning last night. The wind blowing runs on you real quick. Little tapper fielded by Labus. That and retire the side. Puts a jolt into this baseball toward the scoreboard. It is gone. Ryan Bliss with three doubles last night and a blast here tonight. Third home run of the game for Auburn. Everything Ryan Bliss does is just impressive. The double play he turned from one knee last night. He hit the home run to put the game out of the reach last week in extra innings against Georgia. And here he is again, just putting his legs down under it and powering that ball out to left field. Anymore, sadly. 2-1 <laughs> bounce to shortstop. Bobbled by Thompson. Then unloads, not in time. E6 allows Woolley aboard at first. On the ground to second. Bianco from one knee makes the play. Side retired, but the damage is... Staff is electric with Landon Sims and Christian McLeod. I mean, they're averaging almost 13 strikeouts a game. Tops in the country. And, uh, you talk about a lot of swing and misses. They can get them and start going. I, I mean, <laughs> I, well, I love seeing them play first. I just... It's so uncharacteristic. In the right field for a base hit by Cruz. Runner will be meat. Oh, goodness. Not even close to hit. And this ball is hammered up the middle for a base hit. Here comes Morgan flying around third. He's there. Into third is Cruz. And LSU has tied it up here in the fifth. Let's go! On starters and the two guys that got at the end of the bullpen, they got a real shot. Doty could not figure out the Joseph Gonzalez breaking for 80 to home plate. Now ball left side, and that will find a hole. A leadoff single, good at bat for Cam Hill. His second hit of the night. One in your life? Because no. So you got one now. This ball is blasted deep right field. Is it another one? Yes. Fourth home run of the night for the Auburn Tigers and the second bomb of the series for Ryan Dial. Hole in one. How about a hole in two for Ryan Dial in nine hole? <laughs> Hit a home run last night, and again tonight, the power from Auburn with four home runs. And Ryan Dial puts a charge in that Auburn dugout. Look at this pitch, just out over the plate. That ball is smashed to right center field, and that's almost... He's done a 
tremendous job with these hitters, including this guy, Ryan Bliss, who is having a remarkable year. Bliss speeding into second. He's there. A lot of damage with two outs. And there's two outs. Sharply hit to second. Bianco gobbles it up and tosses to first for the out. I'm still stuck <laughs> on the game part cheesy. Bianco gets hit. What is that? Morgan waiting on the 1-1. Hammers one. Center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Bianco had to wait on it to make sure that it fell. He'll stop at third. And LSU down two runs. Has him at the corners with one down. Chops one of the left side. This will likely score a run if he beats it out. He does. And it's a one-run game. No chance to offering at that one. No, a four-pitch walk to the... There it is, and it's ripped in the left field for a base hit. Here comes Cruz, not in time. LSU has tied it up. Great at bat for Kay Doty. And the 1-1. Laced up the middle. Run will score as Dugas touches home. And LSU has retaken the lead. High pop-up on the infield. And it's going to be the first baseman, Miller, calling for it and making the catch. And then when they have to, after some more data is in, more results of games. The double play. Ripped up the middle for a base hit, and we are tied. Third hit of the night for Cam Hill. The 0-2. Breaking ball popped up. Shallow center to Giacomo will put it away. Yeah, they are leading the way in the ACC. This ball is rocketed into center field for a leadoff single. How about Bianco making another statement after a quality game last night? It's not, and it's ball four. Gets by and breaking home is Bianco with the go ahead run. Swing and a miss, strike three. Switching defeat. Well, it shows you they're a good team because they've been in a lot of these SEC games, coming up on the bad end of it. But Texas AM beat Ole Miss tonight, so they're battling Texas AM just to get into the SEC tournament. So they need a swung on and belted. High and deep left center field. Gone. Jordan Thompson with a 400 plus foot bomb to give LSU some extra insurance in the ninth. Cody Greenhill's been real methodical with the way he's been throwing. You can see him physically thinking pitch by pitch. This one, a fastball, he tried to throw middle in, and with a little more velocity, he leaves low and over the plate for Jordan Thompson out of the six hole, and he crashes it out to left field. For This season has been for Auburn baseball. Tapper to the left side. On the charge is Bliss, and he makes a fine play for the third out. Ground ball right side. Morgan smothers it and takes it to the bag himself. Another fine play by the uber-talented freshman Trey Morgan. And don't look now, but LSU, 9-14. and 14. They've won 10 of the last 13 against Auburn. It's this weekend as he'll take the first pitch inside and high for ball. Morgan, the talented freshman out of New Orleans. He drives this ball well to right field. Williams on his way back. That's over the wall. A 
a solo home run right out of the gates for Trey Morgan. Just his fifth home run of the year, and LSU strikes first, three pitches in. Here's what's scary, JJ. You're talking about 94 on his hands. This was a pretty good pitch by Richard Fitz, 1-1. One, one. I'm talking about on his hands, and he got, watch this now. This is a jam deluxe at 94. Oh, my goodness. You want to say bat speed? I don't know what the exit velocity was. Our guys will tell us, but that. That is impressive. Incredible swing there from Trey Morgan, and LSU strikes first early in the contest. The LSU Baton Rouge campus good, good fastball there. Swing and a miss. Doty goes down swinging. Thanks, Hilliard again. This ball driven to center field. DeJacobo back at the wall. Ooh. Leaps up and makes the play for the second out of the inning. I think he stole it, I think, with not much of a jump. The best name in, in baseball, Giovanni Di Giacomo. I think this ball, JJ, is over the yellow tape. Let's see. Man, it was so close. close. And with the wake. Here's a 2 1. This ball hit to center field. Di Giacomo back at the wall. Not getting that one. A solo home run for Judd Ward, his fourth of the year, and we are tied at one. Sauber team with now 69 home runs trying to catch Arkansas for the SEC lead. And Judd Ward got a fastball not quite up enough and just smoked it. Good job. Had a big double on Friday night. Judd Ward barreling balls up. 2-1. This one hit to third. Doty is there. He'll make the toss across the diamond in time for out number three. Over top, breaking ball. A 2-1. Hit to second and through off the glove of Drew Bianco and Ryan Bliss becomes just the second base runner for Auburn. 2-2, swung on and missed by Tyler Miller. Malazzo throws to first. LSU escapes the jam. 1-0, hit to third, diving grab made by Rankin Woolley. His throw to first gets past Tyler Miller and Jordan Thompson will take off towards second. Incredible stop by Rankin Woolley at third. Ball's in a strike. Pitch from Swilling outside, ball four. Second for LSU. Pitch comes in and fouled. We're off the hand, it looks like. See what he does. The 0-2. Lined back to Skipper. He catches it and makes the final out of the inning. 0-1 to Bliss. Hit to the left side. Fielded by Thompson, his throw is late. Second hit of the day for Ryan Bliss. The winning 2-2 to Williams. Hit to second. The only play is to first. And time is caught, are we seeing catch interference, catch again. interference again? Oh one. Hit to left field and through. A walk-off winner for Auburn as Brody Moore singles through the left side. Ryan Bliss touches home and the Tigers salvage a game versus LSU.